it's me, Brina. So I got a lot of requests to talk about my eating and exercise habits, and I don't really pay too much attention to eating right and exercising, really because, first of all, I'm a really picky eater, so I just have to kind of worry about getting eating something, and I naturally like healthy foods anyway, and I also naturally don't want to just sit around. I kind of believe more in just having a balanced diet and just eating a variety of foods and exercising a normal amount and different things like that than really concentrating on every little health fact that you hear because honestly they're constantly changing and I remember when the food pyramid was completely different. Health facts are constantly changing so I think the only things that you can really rely on are the fact that natural foods are better than artificial foods because that's really never going to change if you think about it it just makes sense and also the fact that you should try to eat a variety of different types of food because think about it, if you're eating one type of food and then it turns out that food is really bad for you, they might not have realized it yet. Even if it's something like broccoli, then it could still be bad. So you just want to make sure that you don't eat just one food. Start with protein and I don't really eat pork or beef. I eat beef in pigs in a blanket. I eat the beef kinds. I don't like pork and it kind of scares me and also I feel bad for pigs because I think pigs are really cute and I also think cows are really cute and I don't really care about turkey or chickens because I think they're kind of ugly and so I do eat turkey and chicken. I also like the taste better and I don't really like the taste of pork or beef except in pigs in a blanket and I'll eat hot dogs occasionally if I absolutely have to but I really don't like to and then in terms of chicken I only eat white meat because I don't like dark meat so my favorite type of meat is fish and other seafoods I guess and I do like lobster and shrimp which are supposed to be bad because they're bottom feeders so they eat kind of all the garbage in the water and it's just kind of dirty but I don't eat lobster too often anyway because it's crazy expensive. But I do eat shrimp just because I like it. And I like pretty much all fish. I love sushi. My favorite proteins aren't actually meats, although I do really like seafood. But I really like tofu better and I like peanut butter better. I love peanut butter. And I know that I don't really like the all-natural peanut butter as much as I like the reduced fat jiff peanut butter. Because, I don't know, there's just something about it that is so good. And it's definitely better than the regular jiff peanut butter too, in my opinion. I don't know, I just love it. I love, love peanut butter, especially with chocolate. And anyway, but I also really like tofu, and I really like a lot of those hippie foods, and I don't know why, but I go to Whole Foods and I just get a ton of hippie foods, and I think that they're really good, and like kale and tempeh and I don't know, weird foods like that I just really like. Okay, and then for dairy, I don't really eat dairy except for ice cream and frozen yogurt. And I know that there are a lot of dairy products that are bad for you, like creamy sauces and butter and things like that. But there are also a lot of dairy products that are good for you. Like, dairy honestly also scares me. I have weird food phobias. So, it scares me even more than pork. Especially cheese. I'm terrified of cheese. I will not eat cheese. But anyway. Okay, so, because I don't eat dairy besides ice cream and frozen yogurt, because... I just feel like they're different because they're frozen. I have calcium supplements because you do need calcium. And so these are by Adora and they are 500 milligrams of calcium and they're dark chocolate. They taste so good. I'll just show you one. And I have one every day and I always remember to take it because they're chocolate and I love chocolate. And I like dark chocolate the best. It's actually the best for you. I think it helps your heart. But anyway, they just look like this. And then for breads, I do like whole wheat bread better than white bread and I know that it's better for you and so I try to have whole wheat bread when I can but in pasta I like regular pasta better so I just have white pasta I think whole wheat pasta is kind of hard and also in waffles I prefer regular white bread waffles basically if it's made into anything I would just prefer it to be white bread so except for rice brown rice is pretty good and for fruits and vegetables I love fruits and vegetables they're really good for you my favorites are broccoli and I just like it steamed and spinach and that I like with olive oil and then there's I love strawberries and watermelon and there's just a lot of good fruits in my and for dessert I have at least one dessert every day after dinner because I feel like if I don't my meal isn't complete I don't know it's just a thing I have so my favorite desserts are brownies and cookies and basically anything with chocolate, especially dark chocolate. Peanut butter cups, but not Reese's because those are milk chocolate. I really like the dark chocolate ones. And ice cream, especially chocolate. I don't really like any other flavor, but chocolate peanut
peanut butter ice cream is my favorite. And then frozen yogurt. I really like frozen yogurt, especially in the summertime. If any of you guys have a pink berry near you, it's so good. I love it with mochi and strawberries, just the plain kind, the plain flavor. And then, so I do eat dessert, and I don't think that you should not eat something if you like it. And I think that it's okay to have dessert. I don't really eat fast food. I just don't really like the way it tastes. It's mostly American food, and I don't really like American food. And just the other ones, I don't know, it just makes me feel kind of sick so I just try not to eat it. It's also really small. If you're eating fast food because it's inexpensive and quick, I thought of a bunch of easy, quick alternatives, but I was originally just gonna throw them in here, but I kinda thought of too many, so if you want a video about that, just comment below and let me know. Random fact is that uh, anything with caffeine, especially green tea, boosts your metabolism. So I really like green tea, and I used to drink sweetened tea, but then I had a bad experience with it, so I don't drink it anymore. And I really like unsweetened tea because it's kind of like water, just a tiny bit different. I also will drink lemonade sometimes if it's fresh lemonade. But for the most part, I just drink water. And I drink a ton of water. And that water also, cold water, boosts your metabolism. And I think water just in general does, and it kind of cleans out your system. If you're looking for ways to drink more water and you don't want to just sit there and drink water, it's kind of fun to suck on ice cubes, especially if you're the type of person who likes soda. When you're finished with your soda, you can just suck on the ice cubes. And don't bite on them because it's bad for your teeth. But sucking on ice cubes is fun. And I know that I'm probably not the only one who thinks that because when I was little, me and all my friends used to do it. So you end up having a lot of water that way, and especially in the summer on hot days, it's just a really nice way to cool down. Diet soda is worse for you than regular soda because the aspartame in it can, first of all, it can give you cancer, and it also makes you hungrier. So it's really, even though you think you're getting less calories, you'll end up just eating more throughout the day, so it doesn't really make a difference. And I drink sugar-free Red Bull, which has aspartame, but I don't drink it too often. And it's also really bad for you because it speeds up your heart rate and can be dangerous. But I really like it, and sometimes I just think it's fun. I don't know, I just like to have energy. In terms of what I eat on a daily basis, I always have cereal for breakfast for the most part. And I usually eat either Lucky Charms or Frosted Mini Wheats. Most cereals right now, even the sugary ones, are actually pretty good for you because they're made of whole grain for the most part. And they try to put a lot of vitamins in the cereal because they're for little kids. So if you like a sugary cereal, I would say go ahead and eat it. But the, probably the healthiest choices are either oatmeal or Special K. And Special K with strawberries is really good, so I would definitely try that. If you, then for lunch, a lot of times I'll have a smoothie, and my favorite smoothie combination is strawberries, orange juice, and ginger. And ginger also boosts your metabolism. In terms of exercise, I don't really do any official exercise. I don't go to the gym. I don't play sports. I'm really, really bad at sports, so I don't play them. And I think the gym is boring, and you just kind of concentrate on how much exercise you're doing. And I just get bored, and that's all I can think about. And I don't want to go to the gym because I'm really not muscly and I don't want to look like one of those people who goes to the gym but is just failing because they're not muscly. I don't know. That's pretty dumb, but I could probably just go. But anyway, so I end up walking a lot though every day because I don't have a car and I'm a really impatient person and impatience will get you exercise because first of all, if I have to wait for a subway or a ride or anything, I'm just going to start walking and I will give up my ride because I just don't want to wait and even though it will take me longer to walk, I just walk anyway. And also, I don't like to wait for elevators, so I use the stairs if there's an option between elevators and stairs. And I also fidget a lot because I can't stand still and I don't know if that's being impatient, but fidgeting also supposedly burns calories and I guess that makes sense but it's something that you don't really think about so if you're not a fidgeter you could just try fidgeting and I don't think that you're going to get very muscly from fidgeting but you will get some exercise I guess. I just have to walk a lot though. I walk at least an hour probably every other day because I just don't like to just sit around the house and I really do like to walk. Okay so that's pretty much it and have a great day guys. Bye!